Welcome back to Zoom TV. We're still here at the CEO Sleepout at the Wacker. It's a cold night and I'm joined by this week's celebrity hitchhiker, Barry Felstead from the Crown Casino. Now, Barry, you head up uh, Perth and Melbourne. Perth and Melbourne, yep. Keeps you busy. Okay, now you've been taking part of this event. It's my first event. I'm feeling a little bit uh, a little bit underprepared. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it is a chilly night here in Perth. It's a bit cool. You head up one of the most well-known and one of the largest employers of uh, Australians in the country. Yep, it's certainly up there. We've got about 6,000 people in Perth and about uh, close to 9,000 in Melbourne, so a lot of people. Perth has gone under major construction and you've done it so efficiently and so smoothly. Look, what it is, um, we, we were lucky enough to purchase, uh, it was then Burswood back in uh, 2004. We spent a lot of money redoing it. I'll give you an example, we had nine restaurants and bars back in uh, back in 2004, we've got 31 now. Wow. So that's how much the property's changed. And focusing a little bit on Melbourne, well, you just totally redid the landscape through South Bank there. Yeah, it made a big difference. I started there back in uh, 94, that was my first um, my first gig with Crown and um, it's come a long, long way, it really has. It was a, it was a very destitute area, now it's um, it's come a long way. Very happy with that. A quick question for people at home, if they wanted to follow in a career such as yourself, what would be some of the tips you would give someone coming through uni or, or just working in the job they're in now to actually get to be a leader such as yourself. Look, I think. Look, I was pretty lucky. I, I was. I'm very. Mu I was very much in right place at right time, and I was prepared to move sideways. So I think some people, a lot of people, want to go straight up. If you can move sideways, sometimes that's a that's the smartest move to make, okay. and just work hard. How did you get involved with the CEO sleeper? Okay, well, Crown was a long-term supporter of Vinnie's, and uh, when it first came up in Western Australia six years ago, they said, do I want to get involved? I said, absolutely, and um, raised a bit of money, and I sort of fell in love with it. It's been a bit of a passion of mine since, and um, it's been good. Six years running, and um, I hope to do it for another six years. Now, Barry, I don't know if you've noticed, but as I drive around the streets, especially in Perth, I see a lot of homeless people out there. Yeah, and from our perspective, it's about two things, raising money and raising awareness. In Western Australia, certainly in Perth, there's about 10,000 people sleep rough, and it's not just people sleeping on the street, there's people sleeping on other people's couches, in cars, there's a whole bunch of people out there, and they're almost, the, they're the forgotten people of our society, and I think, you know, as people with responsibility, you need to do something about that. And if you can raise money, you can help Vinnies, and they'll actually go, they can put courses in place for people, they can help get people off the streets, and it makes us more aware, as CEOs and just members of the community, what some people go through. Okay. It's not easy. Now, on with the Fast Five, you ready for that? Perfect. Okay, now, what was your first car you ever owned? Had a Volkswagen, it was a Volkswagen Fastback. Oh. I paid $400 for it. But, but you wish you had it now. I wish, I bet I did too. <laughs> it lasted about uh, eight months. What is your opinion of the worst car? on the road ever. Probably a car that I owned, it was a Nissan Bluebird and uh, it wasn't a good car. I don't think they were that bad. It rusted out, everything broke down and it was a shocker. You would see some pretty special cars in you the do, job yeah. you do. What would be your opinion of the just the car that you want? You go, I want that car. I want a Nissan GTR. Really? Absolutely. Fantastic car, I, awesome I, I, car. I raced Ross Duncan in around a track. He actually cheated a little bit, but he only just beat me, but they're a fast car. They're, they're, they're awesome cars. Now, what car do you currently drive? Okay. <laughs> Here comes the big one. I drive a three-year-old Peugeot. Oh, there you go. I was expecting something bigger, more family orientated. No, no, three-year-old Peugeot. <laughs> and the big one, what is your biggest fear? Well, not traditional things, but I'm probably the thing I don't, I'm not a big fan of is grasshoppers, never like them. Okay, I'll tell you what, if I see one grasshopper tonight, I'll be your grasshopper protector. You're a good man. Mate, thank you very much. Pleasure. And thank you very much for everything that you guys do for the community. Thank you very much.